Hello, my name is Brent. Thanks for coming to VIPGolfCars.com and watching our installation video. This is the installation for a TXT Dash. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple, but hopefully watching this, will you'll pick up some hints to make your installation the best possible. For starters, let's talk about the tools that we will need. A 3 8 and a 7 16 inch wrench. This will come in to play when you actually use the hardware that's installed in our kit and tighten the dash to the floor. You will need to have a tape measure and possibly a sharpie or a scribe of some sort because there is an alteration we need to make to the dash. The alteration will require a Dremel, roto zip, or your weapon of choice for cutting the stock polyethylene dash. A 5 16 bit in a drill. You can use this to drill through the floorboard to attach the base of the dash to the car. That's pretty much it. Let's start off with where we are when, the, when you have a stock dash. This is roughly your stock dash um, and the first thing we need to do is pop out this cup holder. Uh, you need that extra space for our cup holder that's already on the dash. It's simply push back on the stock dash, pop out the clips, pull it forward, no tools required. You may need a flathead screwdriver to pry it back if it's a new car or the dash is pretty new. The next thing is we need to pop the steering wheel off. So we'll pop this cover off, just pull. You'll notice underneath there are these tabs that have the teeth. Once again, if everything's fairly fresh and new, it's never been pulled off before, it may require a flathead screwdriver to just bend the tabs in to pull it off. Nothing really difficult. You will need to remove the nut so that the steering wheel will pop off. Simple as that. You need to pull that steering wheel off because our dash will be sliding over top of the steering column. <clears throat> the next thing is, now that we've gotten this, you will need to remove your stock plate where the ignition switch is. And if you have a PDS, you'll also see the forward reverse switch that will have to be removed and placed on our dash. Once you have the stock ignition off and even your PDS switch, if it's a forward reverse type of thing, any light switches that you want to put on your dash, I recommend installing them on the dash before you put the dash in the car. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put this on. We have a little jazzy little faceplate that we made just for our car. Um, we may have some in stock. You're welcome to call and inquire with Charlie to see if we have anything for you. Um, if not, we could possibly make them, but it might be a wait. But your stock plate works just fine. And what you need to do is you need to install this. It's as simple as screwing it back together. Easy. The next thing, I'd like to point out a few things about our dash. <clears throat> Obviously we have a den sized hole cut for the radio and for six inch speakers. Now, we also have a glove box that is lockable down here and one of the things that people miss all the time on the installation is on the bottom there is an additional hole and this secures this to the base of the floor and really makes the best fit possible. You will notice there's one, two, three, plus the one on the bottom is four and that's why you will have four in your hardware kit. Well, let's go on. We've got uh, the ignition plate taken off, our new ignition installed. We've removed the cup holder. But we've got this ball holder that's here. This is going to interfere with where the radio is. So let's solve that problem. This is where your Dremel comes in, as well as your tape measure. You will need to measure from the base of the ball holder down one half of an inch and scribe a line all the way across. You will cut through the wall of the ball holder and go all the way to the wall of this glove box. Once again, one half inch down, all the way through the wall of the ball holder and all the way up to the wall of the glove box. What this does is it adds a shelf and extra stability for the radio. Our dash actually protrudes a little bit to make things easier for you to reach 
and with that, when the radio goes through, this adds an extra shelf and creates all the strength you need for your radio. So now that we've done that, it's as simple as putting it together. Slide your dash right over top. You can see right away it kind of wants to fall into place. When installing this, we recommend, if you have a friend, to get one just to help get the best possible fit. Start putting this thing together and making it line up with the floor. You'll notice right now I've got a finger space. <clears throat> just gradually come around, start pressing it in, and you will notice once we get it into place, it fits pretty securely right up against the floor. Now let's talk about this radio again. Once again, you will see, I don't know if you can zoom in, Charlie, but basically here we are with our radio. The radio will slide in through here, and you'll notice you have about an inch and a half to two inches between this lip and this lip. This is the shelf that we're talking about when we're creating the extra strength for the radio. So that's why that's that way it is. All right, let's talk about the installation a little bit further. You need your drill with your 5 16 bit. Once again, if you have a friend who can help hold this into the best possible position for your car, you just need to go right through the existing holes. Drill all the way through the floor. I recommend also putting one of the bolts in and working your way around. That's pretty much it for our installation. I will say that some people call and ask about putting screws on the top. We don't recommend it because it destroys the aesthetics of the dash. If you're worried about it squeaking, I wouldn't. If it's installed correctly, it will not squeak if it's down tight. If there is an issue, for some odd reason, just unbolt the dash, put a little bit of small silicone in there, add a rubber cushion, let it kick over, bolt your dash back down, and you'll have a quiet dash, and you still will have the pretty aesthetics. Thanks for watching VIP Golf Cars, installation of the TXT Dash.